Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everybody, and thank you for coming to the channel. And we're going to be talking about Simon Gobadia. His children, Portia, and a favorite YouTube friend of mine, okay? We don't know each other, but I like her commentary. She makes me laugh, she entertains me, and she gives me much to think about for us commentary. Her name is Sunday Omni. Go over there and watch her do her YouTube thing. She lives in Canada, so she's a Calgary person, a female lady, wife. She does celebrity interviews. She talks about fashion. She talks about uh, lifestyles and all that. She's a plus size model. Oh, she's an author of a book. She's just a wonderful individual. So go over there to her YouTube channel, Sunday Omni Show. Okay? Or just do the first Sunday Omni and you should find her on YouTube. She's very well known and solidified over there. You can trust her commentary. Okay, but what's trending in the news today? It's pretty much Simon A.S., okay? And Portia, of course. And Sunday. But Sunday is the best part of it because she's a fellow YouTuber. And she gets on Simon A.S. like nobody else can, okay? She, she gets on his ass like nobody else can. She done nicknamed him. Uh, what did she call him? Uh, damn, it just slipped my memory. Uh... Uh, Dirty Simon. There we go. Dirty Simon Gabadia. And she has reason to call him that. Alright. But it just is what it is. Yes. Go over, and over to her channel and shout her out and tell her I sent y'all over there. Because she's good people. She's good people. You know. I recognize people that I like. And I shout them out over here. Okay. I don't try to take nobody shine. I'm trying to make my own shine. Okay. And hopefully they'll shine me out on their platforms. But if they don't, it's just is what it is. But I think she has shouted me out on her platform. Okay. So y'all go over there and watch her. But um, we got to talk about Simon and Porsche ass. Okay. <sighs> we don't want Portia to be on Instagram, Facebook unless she is showcasing her goods. Uh, Portia, you need to be... Uh, stop doing all these memes. Stop doing all them selfies of yourself because we know what you look like. Okay? We know what you was looking like. We know what you look like now. We don't know what you're going to look like in the future and we don't give a shit. Okay? But when every time we see you, instead of you doing this lazy ass shit right here, we need you to be showing and proving. We need you to be on your websites, your Instagram, your Facebook, your, um, what else we got out there? Twitter. We need to be seeing you going strong on all your products. Your go naked hair. Your... Pampered sheets by Porsche. Hell, we need you to design something else. We need to get the comfort of shit set going. We need the whole ensemble of a bedroom design. Okay, from the sheets to the rugs to the pillows to, like I said, the comforters. And we're going to let Simon fake and do his, uh, what do you call this, this uh, exercise he's doing, which is much more believable. Let me say that. It's much more believable than the Rocky one he had going on. Okay. But I want to get in y'all, both of y'all asses, you and Simon, Portia and Simon, about these three kids, okay? Where is the celebration? They have graduated with honors. They, uh, what do you call them? They're being homeschooled. And I don't know why he got that tacky ass, um, what is that, um, that picture I'm behind of Simon. Monte Cristo, I know he's a film director, whatever, actor, whatever, but it needs to be in your cinema, okay? And why didn't Grandma? Your mother come over here and see these kids graduate. Okay? Well, what happened, Simon? You have a plane. You have a jet. Why you didn't fly over? That's a big celebration for those little folks. They need all the love and support to know to continue to doing what they're doing. And they will be re rewarded real well by getting a nice job. And they don't have to depend on Simon to feel like he wants to donate to them here and there. Well, I, you know, whatever he feels like these days. Because I, I, I'm still mad. I'm still mad at him because he's showcasing I am. And he's doing fraudulent fuckery fucked up shit. Okay? My F's. 
everybody know my else the foolishness the fuckery the fakery and the fraudulent activity and simon's damn doing a good job about it and i got to call his ass down out about it all right but of course we're gonna go by with some uh sunday on my head brought out on him we get the article from bustle.com uh, the author of the uh, particular article I was reading was written by Brad Whit Witter or something like that. Okay, so he must be a, bo a Bustle.com employee. But anyway, they were taking some snips and snippets, uh, pieces from Sunday Ottoman's uh, YouTube channel. And they were pretty much uh, spitting out what she had already put on format on YouTube for everybody to see throughout the world. Okay, but uh, he titled it. Uh, want to know more about Simon Gabbari and his three ex-wives and children. Okay, Simon, as we all know, hell, I didn't know at the time until I started researching his ass. You know, I don't really like to research. I don't like to do too much research. I like just whatever I see, I just feel how I want to cover it, and I bring it to y'all live, large, and in charge. Okay, that's what I be doing. All right, but Simon, he has five children of his own from two of his previous three marriages. Okay, boy, are you listening to what we're saying? He didn't marry three times. Okay, had children with two of them. He didn't actually have any children with Fallon, not because he didn't try. He probably just couldn't produce because he's in his 60s, close to his 70s. But he won't admit to it. He still think he's in his 20s. Okay, well, now Simon Instagram page held at the time were filled with wonderful tributes to his three kids that we normally see and the oldest one uh which is quentin who's I, I don't know he's in his 20s i guess by now and we know other three uh the daughter exumna uh maybe the ex is silent we was gonna call her baby girl ex okay and then we got the other two uh kids benjamin and uh christian okay but uh Simon put, you know, and of course this was in 2021. This ain't nothing recent, okay? But we like to bring up the past because sometimes it makes sense of what they're doing in their present, okay? And what they'll probably do in the future. But, and, but he, he ain't doing that. But he ain't doing nothing in my book right about now because I'm still trying to figure out where's the celebration for them kids. I don't see no party. I don't see no play people out there, you know, or their fair, favorite characters or anything. I don't see no cakes. I don't, I don't see other children running around there. I just don't see it. Jaden, hush. Okay, I had to shut my uh, studio door, which is a really extra best get room. <laughs> an extra bedroom guest room. <laughs> but I like to call it my studio sometimes. Like I'm really doing something. But y'all know I'm in the house. I'm recording. We doing it. Make it do what it do. Okay. But anyway, going back to the... Um, the content I was trying to present to you all is old, but it can be new. Depends on how we spin it and how we spit it out to y'all, okay? So y'all can digest it real well and sleep better with the news, okay? That I was giving y'all to use for your entertainment pleasure. All right, but um, Simon quotes, he says, For those who know me well, no children hold a special place in my heart. Simon captured, this was in 2021, now on Father's Day. Uh, he was spotlighting his kids, Quentin, 25, Christian, 11, Benjamin, 10, and Exumna, uh, em Emina, Emina, I guess is 9, but, you know, we up in 2022 now, so just add one more year to each of their lives, okay? Uh, but I'm like, mm, he has an older daughter. He has one daughter that's next to Quentin, okay? Uh, but he didn't talk about her. He didn't talk about her. I wonder why, Simon. Why you didn't talk about it? Now, you said and say you like all your kids. You love all your kids. But guess what? We didn't hear nothing about Nicole Gabbardi until a little further, uh, a little further down the road. Okay? But I also want to just break in your ass about pretty much, um... What happened to Fallon kids that you're supposed to have been adopting or being a part of her life? If you're going to do the same shit to Portia, if it don't work out, you're going to forget about PJ. PJ might have grown a little fun to you and she might ask about you here and there. Not all the time because she got a full-time daddy that is very much so in her life, okay? But she might miss you just a little bit, just a little bit, all right? Uh, yeah. What you going to do if that don't work? You're just going to be out of her life too because that's piss poor parenting and piss poor blending of children of the family that you're trying to create okay now you you could still been in those three boys lives that fallon had you could still been in their lives all right you could have been having cookouts 
uh, family outings, family, whatever. You know what I'm saying? You could have just did it up big. You taking care of everybody's kids and your own. Everybody, you say you love the kids, right? You love the kids, you love everybody's kids, okay? But that's not the exact truth you're trying to give us a full picture of. Now, is it Simon Gabbard? Okay, because Fallon, she's doing real good. Now she don't got somebody much more closer to her age group. She's planning on getting married this year, next year, whoever. Who gives a shit, okay? But she ain't with your ass no more. We do know this, okay? And she left you for a good reason. She left you for a good reason. Like I said, you know, we got cheating on everybody. We got cheating on Porsche. We got cheating on Fallon. We got cheating on you, Simon. But you the one that have been married three times okay and this will be your fourth one so we looking at you a little bit harder because you should have known better after the second marriage okay you should just be a full-fledged bachelor and kept it that way but you keep on trying to make something happen into nothing it's basically what you're doing because it's you Simon. you're the main common denominator out of all these marriages okay and all these relationships you are the one common denominator but uh anyway we're going back to the article and uh, like I said, I had to get on your ass about Nicole. Because I don't want to even think or fathom that you just left her mother. I think her mother's name is Corinne or Connie. We'll get to her in a few. But you let her raise that daughter all by herself. Pay all the financial burdens of putting her, ch her child through school that you happen to have made with her. Is that what you're telling me, Simon? Is that what you're telling me? I need to see the receipts, brother. I need to make sure that you did your due diligence when it came to your first two kids before you brought out three more, plus trying to be a father figure to the other three of Fallon children. And now you're talking about you're going to try to help PJ out. No, no, so no, Lord, no, God. I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm glad she got her daddy in her life. Because you're not a really big permanent person in anybody's life, Simon. For what I'm looking at, you're not a very good stable point man in relationships when it comes to marriage or raising children. I'm just saying right now, okay? Oh, but like I said, my girl Sunday Ominous, Omni, she uh, busted your behind wide open. Oh, yes, she did. She came and got the truth on your ass, okay? And I was right there looking at it. I was right there looking at it, digesting it, and just saying, wow, what kind of man has Portia got herself into now? Fake fraudulent fuckery and foolishness is what I say, okay? That's what I say. I stand with it, and I will go back to the day I die. Okay, but then we go on to, uh, uh, let me see, Sandy doing her due diligence, investigating, reporting is what we call it, and she had to get some information on the second eldest child, which is known as Nicole Gabadium. Now, how convenient is that for you to wipe her clean off of your Facebook account, Simon? Believe her up on your Facebook account. Just one little lovely picture. That one little lovely picture now. Ooh, how's that convenient for you? But Sunday found the info on your behind. Okay? Now, we can't trust you to tell us the truth of something as precious as your children. Why should we trust you at all? Because why? You're self-serving, Simon. You're self-serving. Sunday found out about doing a lot of research. She found out a lot about your daughter, Simon. And we can say, you mess with some smart-ass women and you might be smart yourself as far as the finance department and male. And both parents breeded good children, okay, that were very well um, educated. Or, or they, they, they took to the lessons of, you know, our primary years of studying uh, English, math, social studies, history, and all that kind of stuff. But they probably excel real well in math and science, okay? For them to hold these type of degrees. All right? Now, uh, Nicole was a STEM, S-T-E-M, Ph.D. candidate at the University of Washington, or Tacoma, Washington. And she wants nothing to do with you. What did you do, Simon? This is the day of uh, reckoning. You need to tell us what you did, how you did it, why you did it, and what you're going to do about it in rectifying that situation, baby. What are you going to do about it? Now, Simon, you deleted the photos of Nicole from your Instagram, but you kept one up, like I said, on your Facebook account, congratulating her on all her school endeavors. And um, she became a computer science degree holder. And you saying she made the family proud. What family, Simon? 
Was your mom involved? Was your daddy involved? Were you involved in your daughter's life? Because making a family proud ain't doing shit for her school debt that she has occurred. Are you paying that off for her, Simon? Okay. Now, according to Sonny Ottoman's show, Nicole's mother, Simon's first wife, her name is Karen English, to whom she was married, to whom they were married, meaning Simon and her, for 20 years. Now, you would have thought you'd been married 20 plus years, you would have stayed with the woman, okay? Come hell or high water, your ass would have still been down. Not necessarily liking her, loving her, but you was going to be by her and by her side. But no, you went out here and married two more other people, and you're working on the uh, Porsche for number four. Number fourth wife. So again, you are the combinator, denominator of the mess. The mess that we call unfaithfulness. You're not faithful to the wives. You're not faithful to the children. You're only self-serving and faithful to yourself. All right. But anyway, Nicole Mother has earned her uh, master's in fashion design. Okay. Yeah. She's a designer or she likes designing people clothing and, and apparel and stuff like that. But she got her degree in fashion. All right. While having two teenagers, one by you and I guess one by somebody else, okay? She survived the uh, the working hard years of the primary years, the formative years, and now the adult-ish years. Now, where were you all in that time with that one child that you had, okay? Hell, you probably wasn't in Quentin's life that much either, but we ain't going too much into that one, all right? Uh, she's also Minnie Cunning, um, his first wife. However, she works at, um, she's a, a professor at the Art Institute of Atlanta. Now, Nicole is reportedly still close with her mom and brother, Quentin. Okay, so that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Uh, she at least had Quentin in her life as a brother role, rock, role model figure because she didn't have her dad. Okay, and I guess they could share stories amongst themselves that, ooh, we would love to hear. We wanted to be a fly on the wall so we can bring it out and we can, um, Get some of that hurt and pain out on you, Simon, because we ain't scared of you. We ain't scared of you, brother. We reproach, rebuke, and preserve your behind for future, uh, what do you call it, tell-offs. Okay? So, anytime a baby girl want to reach out, give me an interview, just tell her where I am. Family, just tell her where I am. I'll be ready to sit with her, let her get all her pain out on her dad, and dare his ass to come over here and mess with her. Okay? Because he don't want to mess with nobody over here. We family, we tight, we roll like four flat tires, four fingers, I mean, ten fingers down, ten toes down, and up. Okay? <sighs> let's see, let's see. What else did we find out about you, Simon? Oh, Lord, Simon has said he was overwhelmed. He was overwhelmed at the fact that he missed so much of their daily growth. But yet, he wants to get close to the kids now. And he's learning new things about having new tools of dealing with his children individually. Now, all the ones that you could probably deal with is them three that we keep showing with Portia. Because you can't do shit with them older two, okay? They already done got their impression of how they feel about you and how they're going to continue to feel about you. But like I said, I don't hope it's not lost. You could turn you could turn this shit around, Simon. You could go and pay off all of their school loans, okay? That would be a, that would be a start. That would be a start. So they'll have no financial burdens to actually be out in their field and have to pay back this extra uh, <coughs> extra burden of financialness where they had to borrow student loans, okay? So you could take care of that quick, fast, in a hurry, and that would be good, showing of good effort that you care about them, that you don't want them to toil, that you want them to enjoy their life because they definitely prepared themselves well with their careers, okay? Now, um, okay, time to go on and talk about Quentin. Um, he's into the filmmaking uh, business. He's pursuing a cinematography degree in film and video production at Brooklyn College. Okay, and now, like I said, it's all of last year, so they probably have solidified themselves. Uh, and what they're going to do. Now, his youngest daughter, uh, Emina, she and her dad, which is Simon, and her mother, 
have an amicable relationship. So he must be doing the right thing by his younger daughter. He's taking care of his responsibilities as far as her education, her medical, dental, and vision plans. And he's definitely been showing her on his social media page uh, because we've been seeing it. And um, they have a good relationship. So I'm like, Portia, that's something you need to worry about. Just need to see how tight that relationship is. Does it, does it include friends' benefits where she can come and get her rocks knocked off by Simon? And is Simon putting a little bit more cushion money over there for her to partake of? You know, I don't know because I don't know what the settlement was like when it came for them divorcing. But they, you know, she is a plus-size model as well. So see, Simon like the fat babies too. <laughs> you don't necessarily like total skinny babies. He He ain't. He is an equal opportunity investor in all kinds of women's bodies, okay? But that's what I said. He just with Portia. You know, Portia keeps her figure looking very well as well as her face. She's about figure and face. That's what Portia's all about. But like I said, evidently he must treat his baby girl's mother a little bit better. Maybe she understands him a little bit better. And she toes the line with him, meaning let him do whatever he's going to do when it comes to wanting his child. And uh, out of hell, I don't know, maybe he finds solace in her company sometimes. Hey, Portia, they might be talking about your ass. I don't know, girl. You let me know. Then we'll just blast him out together. But see, we ain't going to let you use us in any kind of way where you, you, you ain't listening to my um, prudence and my advice and stuff you're not gonna use me and, and and just you know throw the door in my face and still go out here and do fucked up shit because uh yeah see this is fucked up right now we don't ever need to see you resting your behind up on no chair and on top of no desk okay your feet's got a place for it uh, 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 on your body These belong on the floor or They belong on a chair That you can lounge around Like a uh, What do you call that A uh, recliner Or something to that nature uh, They don't belong on no table Okay that's a man thing right there So we know You're not making things happen In the financial department And we know That you are needing money I don't care what your stance People say or whatever Because the proof is in the pudding baby The proof is in the pudding and you can't hide behind other things for too long before we realize that you're broke over there. So, I don't know. I, I wish you do continue to be, uh, what do you call it, uh, successful in your business. Because we don't want you to not be successful. Because baby PJ needs your help as well as her dad's help. Okay, unless you want to get full custody to Dennis. And then he's uh, pretty much have to uh, take care of everything about her. But we know you ain't going to do nothing like that. And t technically, you shouldn't have to. But we want you to do more. We want you to do more. Because like I said, you gave t PJ that three-year-old party that was so lavishly done. But I don't see shit on him about these kids that graduated. Now, I put graduation of high esteem endeavors a little bit more over a party for a three-year-old that cost probably 10000 or more that's piss poor parenting and piss poor usage of the financials that you know you need to be watching real closely because you sat up there and got rid of your two major paying jobs just to say i want to become mrs simon gabadia he still ain't married your ass to this day i don't understand your way of thinking i probably never will because it was false thinking given to you by your mother and your grandmother okay but we ain't gonna get on them today we really want to just stay on your ass and silent ass pretty much because y'all are grown individuals and doing childlike uh <coughs> making childlike decisions okay so we want y'all to do better because we know y'all know better whether you want to feel like being an adult every day i don't know what your trials and tribulations are with that but you're grown so you need to be doing grown folks things and putting childish toys and thinkings away okay totally away if you're gonna do childish shit don't put it on social media we don't want to see it because that makes us want to do commentary okay commentary on both your behinds so i was just kind of upset because like i said i don't see how this baby girl with all her cuteness all her brain power and her dad and Portia going to sit up there and treat PJ to all the best things. Did y'all know Portia had a bunion on her toe? 
Y'all tell Portia she need to go to the podiatrist and get that shit fixed, okay? Before it messes with her walking ability. Because it will do that. All right? So she don't care. Her mama ain't going to tell her. Somebody got to tell her. So we just represent ourselves as telling Portia how to do things up out in these streets, okay? We're going to be the one that make Portia toe the line and be a respectable, deserving of an adult to raise not only her girl, but Simon's children as well, okay? Because we know Simon don't have a goddamn clue. He don't. He don't have a clue. So we need to inform him and put him on the right path to learning how to be an attentive parent to children. Okay? But do you see any parties, hats? Do you see any... You know, things going around. You need to take that darn poster down. We ain't in no theater, man. Take that shit down. It's clashing with the house. But again, I see you don't know what you're doing. You don't know what you're doing. But please take that uh, poster down. I don't even know why you framed it. Unless you are in your studio. Meaning a home theater. That's where that shit need to be. It don't need to be on them walls. You being tacked over that sign. Take that shit down. I don't want to see it no more now. I don't want to see it. And definitely don't want to see that blue picture. But I want to know where your mama was. Can't she uh, live vicariously through her grandchildren? You know, did you Skype her? When y'all were at the uh, award ceremony, but damn, I forgot. Y'all raised y'all kids to be homeschooled. So what? I mean, what do you do? Uh, I know they had to go to the school to take tests and make sure they're on the same grade level that they should be on. But I'm like, where was the, where was the big party? Where was the all thrown out type of arrangements? For them. And then we don't damn want to see them go on no trip. On no boat and all that. Because that's you and Portia enjoying that. Them kids ain't enjoying that. It should have been everything out there. For them kids to play with. Even the neighbor's kids could have came over. But again y'all drop the ball. Y'all drop the ball. And I'm going to probably ride you until summer is over. Because y'all didn't do right by these three kids. Now we don't want to see your personal finances. That you may have dropped 20 grand in their accounts or whatever. No, we don't want to see that. We don't have to even know about that. But you should have gave them some type of party. With the decorations. With all the artifacts of, you know. The, we call them things that be blowing. With the little thing coming out. It's like a, a blow horn. But it has like, whoo. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, happy birthday. That little thing that be like sliding. Out. I don't know what you call the thing, but it makes noise as you blow into it and it just make it be like a little, what do you call it? A, a slinky like. I can't, I can't recall it, but I'm sure somebody would tell me what it was because, you know, when I get the tape and I can't really think too straight because I'm running my mouth a mile a minute, okay? Trying to drop down some tea. And some correction. So, y'all get down in them comments. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this uh, situation we got here. Where we don't even know if Quentin, the one with all the hair up there with the glasses. We don't even know if he had a nice childhood. You know what I'm saying? We don't know. But taking children on lavish vacations is not what they want. They want to be with their parents. They want to have all the things that kids do that's enjoyable. You know, like the play toys that you have in the summertime. Hell, they got a beautiful pool. Where the children at? They ain't got no cousins. They ain't got nobody. But them, them three. And PJ, when she want to be around. Ooh, Simon, you got to do better. You got to do better. I need to see uh, y'all throwing a party for the kids or something. Because the kids deserve that. They've been torn the line. They've been striving and accomplishing great feats with their education. We really, really need you to do something. You should have had Mama flown from, um, what do you call it? Flown from Benin, Nigeria. Should have flown her in for the special occasions, okay? But you didn't do that. You hard headed. And you're selfish. You think about yourself all the time. Stop taking all these damn lavish trips trying to show us and impress us. Because we ain't impressed. We ain't impressed at all. Because we save enough money, we can do the same shit that you do. It's just going to take us a little longer to do it. Okay? But just throwing a kid's birthday party, congratulating them, having the cakes, a cake for each graduate. You know, uh, money being thrown at them just for the hell of it. It didn't have to be no 20s, no 50s, no 100s. It could have just been dollars. Okay? 
But we're gonna show and prove. We're gonna stay on your ass until we see that you get it, that you get it right, and the optics look very good. Cause we're trying to make memories for your children. That's what we're doing. We're trying to make memories for your children and for them to realize that their mom, which will be their step mom, as well as their dad, really love them. Cause they 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 care about the simple shit. You know what I'm saying? They, they don't they don't really look at the big shit until they get of that age where they know what money is. But they know what positioning is. But when they're that little, the age group they're in now, they just want to uh, be able to be around their parents. And you should have been inviting the parents' mothers as well. It should have been one big celebration full of hot wings out there, uh, sub sandwiches, or uh, different, you know, the shit that you made on Mother's Day. That's the kind of spread you should have had for this graduation that was going on. And I repeat, you should have had the mothers there. And everybody should be one big blended family. You see what I'm saying? But y'all like, y'all think about y'allself. You and push all they be thinking about yourselves. Okay? That's why you don't look good in, in, in the optics. You don't look good of, of, of you know, social media. Because we know you're foolish. you fraudulent. you fakery. And you fuckery. Okay? But we want you to do better. That's why we're on him telling you you need to do better. You know better, you do better. Okay? But that's all I got for this video, guys. Like it, love it, gotta have more. Y'all have a beautiful long weekend vacation and i'll see y'all each time y'all click on the videos over here at the house okay talk to you later bye bye